time around. Yes, but make it third time lucky. And go through the entire tournament and beaten. And the chief of that would be Paul Newton. Nine games in the space of ten days. And they're back on terms here. Their front points and from their top score again. Yeah, they 10.5 points per game. Not too far behind Tarasova. In the scoring stakes, but once again, the response is immediate from Spain. And again, it comes from Cassess. There's Cassess. Really good tournament. Even better. All six points for Spain so far. So far. The polls. Shulova. The first score 21 points in that year final. Spain just edging ahead now. Humano will play in a way that far more conducive to Spanish success, and they brought that out on the court with a really impressive performance. And they've started strongly again here. Cassas leading the counter, leading the scoring charge. Eight points already. Will be the last attack of the first quarter. And Pierrette Cassas ends it how she started it with another couple of points for Spain. What a performance it has been from the 18 year old so far. That's a really good effort straight down the middle. Kimono doubling her talent. Far away from a three-pointer, it's Lova comes back on, the 18-year-old from Pam. Kimono, well works. Beautifully red. Finishing touch this time is applied by Mariona Ortiz. Finals. A clever play. She found her way to the basket. Stiminsa widens the gap again. Ten points. Again, Toba near the game. That's a good ball, all alone. And eventually it drops. Had to make that one down. Completely unmarked. Four points now for Victoria Solovieva. Career high against uh, Lithuania earlier in the championships, just seven points. Will be within her sights, but that's much better from Spain. That is quite some response. Via it's off the march. That's a big one. Here comes Spain again. And to end stuff just at the moment. Cassas really well taken. Fabulous game. Cassas is having six. In. Got close to that. Individual contributions will count for little as the team aren't successful, of course. It's a really good effort from Panavina. They are storming back now in three pointer. It's massive in every sense. Already, Russia have got themselves back within a point here of Spain. With just over three minutes of this third quarter gone. That's an important response. Beautifully taken by Mariona Ortiz. Doubles her points. Rather more physical approach from Tara Sova, but she was off target as well. Perez leads the counter. Support from Humano. No from Hester Minza. will be happy with that. Doubles her points total two for six attempts. Panavina. Oh, she found her way through. Exploited the gap brilliantly there. Shulova. Showing exactly what she's capable of. For the most part, has been well marshaled by Spain in this final. But when she sees the gap, she's more than capable of getting through it. And a reminder of the sort of talent that can turn this game. Shield over again. She looks in the mood now. And Avina forward. Avina Gintova, this is much better by Russia. 
It's a big three-pointer. Fifth time she's tried it, and this time it's straight down the middle. Russia roaring into the lead. In a long time since we've said that, we've not been able to say it for long. Gentova having start at one end is then penalised at the other. Given time on the ball in these big positions. Get into the danger area. Massive red shirt back defending. Nothing they can do about that though. Russia really are finding their range now. Julova in particular into double figures. Her first nip and tuck. Again, it's one from two for Laura Arroyo. She's quickly onto the loose ball though. And takes full advantage this time. That's brilliant. She's certainly had an impact since coming on. Averaging just 2.3 points per game. She's exceeded that already. Once again, the Spanish lead is at four. Such an important contribution from Arroyo. More than a turning for the missed free throw. Effective. If she hadn't missed that, she might never have got the chance for the three-pointer. That's what she'll over who's down. And when you're committing the foul this time, heavily involved since her introduction. She'll over who felt a full force there. There was an awful lot a year ago. Canavina. That's the last attack of the third quarter. It breaks down. He may yet get a chance to go again. Right on the hooter from Doris Shaver. Real drama at the end of the third quarter. This final approaches its last acts. It's been simmering nice. Maybe too much of an impact. Spain back in possession and threatening and scoring. Rodriguez, who's been fairly quiet on that. Sets of supporters absolutely absorbed in the contest. All for Spain to cheer about. In her account for the final. She her time, but it was a timely intervention. The Russian response. And what a response from Medvedeva. Players in the middle. Closely marked. Laura Hill, Rodriguez works her way through, that lead now is between... Well, Tober again didn't take the ball with her though, that could be costly. It's there, Cassas on the counter. Finally... Keep that in play, has turned over possession, not for long though, that's sloppy. Russia are getting a little ragged. At a point in the game where they have to be exerting themselves, they have to be coming forward. They're not seeing the ball, and when they've had it, they've not been able to hold on to it. Kessas, two more points. In fact, it's a three pointer. Just outside the zone, and that is huge in every sense. Move them over for Russia. They are to mount any sort of comeback, it has to start now. And it does. It's a long way back, but it gives them some hope. Three more points from Shilova. We know she's capable of it. The second three of this final. They need more, though. Black is about to turn in a very tight situation.
keep their footing there, leave them over. Big desperation playing their part as well, I think. Yeah, that's another excellent effort. She'll over again. Well, she's got her eye in now. Is it too little, too late, or is it the start of a sensational comeback? Six massive with two minutes to go is a big gap. Well, she will prove it's not insurmountable. Maybe it is now. That's huge. Humano responds in kind. Three points of her own, and it could well be enough for Spain now. These are over. Michelle over trying to create the space for the three pointer. Well, Marshall, though, he just did not have the angle. He draw the foul from Villa. Gets into double figures. Not quite. It shouldn't matter. Himeno in that real trouble we saw go off clutching the shoulder a little while ago patched on back in the action but clearly still feeling that she's gonna have to go off again surely here in real pain just to take the knock on the already damaged area Doesn't appear to want to leave the court but surely she'll have to An assistant there, uh, Paola. Helping her from the courts. Not been as close as at one stage it was shaping up to be. Because of the way that they pulled away in the final quarter, they're already up and dancing on the Dutch line. And it is still on the court as the clock ticks down. Three seconds they have to wait now. He's off the court and start celebrating and have started celebrating already. Wonderful achievement by well, Lucas Mondello and his team. Spain are the under 20 European champions. So often the bridesmaids in recent years, they've stolen the show this time. For a second time, they're champions of Europe. And they thoroughly deserved it. The only unbeaten team in the tournament have preserved that record when it mattered most and avenged defeat. They fall short of the expected standards. Maybe not quite at their best today. This side had so much to do with that. 21 points from Kalatises, perhaps the standout performance. But it was a team effort. It has been a team effort throughout this chat. MVP Kalatises can't argue with that after her performance in the final. Just 18 years of age. There will be further chances for her at this level. This is just the start. And beaten in the final. There's more than made amends tonight. The gold medal goes to Spain. They are under 20 European champions. And they are fitting champions. Undefeated throughout this tournament. A fabulous achievement. A medal for each of them. But they've won the trophy as a team. Fabulous performances throughout the competition from so many of this squad. Just taking the MVP. And they're the first to admit she couldn't have done it without her teammates. Number 15, Mariona Orti. Success made all the sweeter by previous half day. A number of these players 
We were on the second step a year ago. Indication for Lucas Mondelo, the coach as well. And the belief that he placed in these players. Phil, this is only the start of the celebrations. They are going to enjoy this for some time tonight, and why not? Can't wait now to get their hands on the trophy, and here it comes. A glittering prize. The celebrations start in earnest. Spain are the under-20 European champions. The second success in their proud history at this level. Undefeated throughout the tournament. Undisputed champions. 62 points to 53. They avenged last year's defeat against Russia in the final.